Hi, beautiful people of the Most High God. So the Most High wants me to tell you, um, you know how he's been recompensing the wicked for their witchcraft and their wickedness? Now they're using powers. They're going to higher powers, principalities and powers, entities with powers. There's creation God made that have powers. Like there's people who have powers of light and have powers of darkness. You understand me that they don't have to use witchcraft for they have powers and some people are going to get powers to do evil with to people with the powers so you know we fight against principalities and powers so they're going to principalities and powers and you know sacrifice into them and asking them to hurt you with powers you you watch movies you understand these wicked people this is magical powers but there's people who have powers all right just like the 144,000 have powers there's that's powers of light they work and operate in the power of God but there are entities and creatures who have powers of darkness children of darkness powers of darkness and then they don't have to use witchcraft to harm you with these powers so you have to pray against these powers and their control because their powers come with control, dominance, bondage, captivity, wickedness. They could just do their, use their powers on you and do evil. All right. So God wants you to use these scriptures because they're using their powers, putting people in confusion. They're making people, you know, their mind controlling people. They're wiping people's memory. They're washing people's memory. They're, they're, you know, making people forget things. They're wiping people's visions. They're doing all manner of evil to these to people with powers. Like the same stuff they would do with witchcraft. They're doing it with powers. So he wants you to know that. To pray against the powers. Pray against the powers. Some people call them powers that be. It's powers of darkness. The powers of marine. The people from the marine kingdom. There's creatures with powers. And they use them for evil to hurt God's creation. So he wants you to use these scriptures to expel and destroy these powers from harming you. All right? Doctrine and Covenants 21 and 6. For by doing these things, the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. Yeah, the Lord God will disperse the powers of darkness from before you and cause the heavens to shake for your good and his name's glory. So yeah, God is really angry with them using their powers to harm you, right? And he knows that a lot of people don't understand about principalities and powers. So he wanted me to use these, tell you these scriptures. And you see how in Doctrine and Covenants 21 and 6 that I just read for you, it says, For by doing these things, the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. Remember, Christ says that in the New Testament, the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. But this is the part that they took out. God will disperse the powers of darkness from before you and cause the heavens to shake for your good and for his name's glory. You have to understand some of the things they took out of the King James Bible because he sent his word and healed you. That that heals you, right? That's in Psalms 105. Because, or, no, 107. Because these wicked people don't want you to get deliverance through God's word and know the right words to say. Because you have life and death in the power of the tongue. So use these scriptures. Doctrine and Covenant 21 and 6. Doctrine and Covenant 24 and 1. Behold, I was called and chosen to write the Book of Mormon. So Mormon was chosen to write that book. Like Isaiah was wrote, chosen to write his book. And to my ministry. You got to be chosen to write God's book. You got to be chosen to his ministry. But... That's besides the point. He wants you to use this scripture to expel, to destroy the powers of darkness from around you, from harming you. And I have lifted thee up out of thy afflictions. So I have lifted thee up out of thy affliction and have counseled thee that thou has been delivered from all thy enemies. So for you to be delivered from all your enemies and thou has been delivered from the powers of Satan and from darkness. So this scripture it helps you to be lifted out of all afflictions. God will counsel you and deliver you from all your enemies. And you shall be delivered from the powers of Satan and the powers of darkness. Any powers that's not operating in light and righteousness is powers of darkness. So powers of marine, powers of Satan, those are powers of darkness, powers of evil. 
and um, Doctrine and Covenants 88 and 47. Behold, all these are kingdoms, and any man who has seen or any or any or the least of these has seen God moving in his majesty and power. But this is the other one you need to know. Doctrine and Covenants 138 and 30. But behold, from among the righteous, he organized his forces and appointed messengers clothed with power and authority. So those are powers of righteousness, of good, of light. From God's righteousness, he organized forces and appointed messengers clothed with power and authority and commissioned them to go forth and to carry the light of the gospel to them that were in darkness, even to all the spirits of men. And thus was the gospel preached to the dead. And to get you out of obscurity, so Doctrine and Covenants 1 and 30, and also those to whom these commandments were given might have power to lay the foundations of this church and to bring it forth out of obscurity and out of darkness. Um, the, you know, in the book of Isaiah, it talks about they walk in obscurity and they walk in darkness. Please look up the definition of obscurity. It's not a good thing to bring you out of obscurity and out of darkness. The only true and live in church upon the face of the whole earth. So this scripture will bring you out of obscurity and out of darkness. When you're in your dreams and your visions and it's dark, that means you're walking in darkness. Those who abide in Christ, they shall not walk in darkness. Your dreams are supposed to be full of light. If you're in places that are dark, then you're walking in darkness and you need deliverance in your dreams. You need deliverance in your the spirit realm. All right? Bring, to bring you forth out of obscurity and out of darkness, the only true and living church upon the face of the whole earth, which I, the Lord, am well pleased, speaking unto the church collectively and not individually. So he's talking to the whole church for you to come out of obscurity, come out of darkness, not even in your dreams and your visions, you're suppo they're supposed to be in darkness. They're supposed to be full of light. If your dreams are darkness, then that's an attack from the enemy. I, ha I hear a lot of people share their visions and dreams, and they don't even understand that. That's a dream from the kingdom of darkness. That's a dream from their enemy. That's a spiritual attack. And they think it's good. They need to get more in-depth on what their dreams mean. They take it very lightly and the, your dream world is very is very important. That's why I shared Evangelist Joshua because at least he knows, he's on YouTube, he knows what dreams actually mean. Warfare dreams. People need to take their dream life seriously because if it's darkness, that means you're walking in darkness. That means it's an attack, it's a bewitchment. That means death. That means a lot of things that are not good. Um, feed, eating in your dreams and drinking in your dreams is not good. Sleeping with somebody in your dreams is not good. Bathing with somebody in your dreams is not good. Many things, it, it happens from the dreams, which is the spiritual realm. And then it manifests in the physical. That's why you have to cancel all bad dreams. That's how the enemy attacks you. So you have to dispel the powers of darkness. You're seeing strangers, unfamiliar people in your dreams. You're taking things in your dreams. Those things are spiritual. You have to understand your dream life. And God should teach you about your dream life. And you can find it out in the word. Delivered you out of prison houses. You're not supposed to be in anybody's house. And, and in rooms or in rooms of darkness or houses of darkness our bathroom dreams are not good. Like there's a lot of things that people don't understand. People on your sitting in your bedroom on your bed, those are not good. They're attacking your marriage. These dreams are not good. Um, I just wanted to tell you these scriptures so you know them. Doctrine and Covenants 130, Doctrine and Covenants 138 and 30, Doctrine and Covenants 88 and 47. Doctrine and Covenants 24 and 1, Doctrine and Covenants 21 and 6. Have a blessed day and stay prayed up because the enemy is using, they're using powers and they're using a lot of dream curses, dream invasions, bullying, spiritual gang up, 
spiritual team up. They're coming with a whole bunch of them. The fallen angels, the evil angels, they're even using them because they have powers of darkness. They're not operating in the light of God. Stay blessed, stay prayed up, and stay vigilant.